In this presentation we're going to look at SPSS and forward selection. The version of SPSS we are using is version 19 and what we're looking at here is forward selection which is a variable selection procedure used in multiple linear regression. The data set is called MLR2.save. The dependent variable is Y and we have 8 independent variables X1, X2 all the way up to X8. The uh, uh, method of entry is forward. Now that will uh, show you what that means now shortly. So let's open SPSS and we'll get open the MLR2 data set there. Uh, so here we have the dependent variable and after that all the independent variables. Now what uh, forward selection is, is trying to come up with the best set, the best subset even, of depend independent variables to explain why. Now, so rather than using all of them, it will actually just use a subset that would, uh, that would adequately explain why, but still obey the law of parsimony, avoid overfitting, and so on. So, how do we go about doing this? Well, the first thing we do is go to Analyze, and we click on Analyze. Now, we're doing a regression model, so this is uh, linear regression. So, regression, go to Linear. Okay, so analyze, regression, linear. Let's click on that. Now, the dependent variable here is y, so I'm going to put that there. Now, the independent variables, they all go here. So I've selected them all and I'm going to input them into independence. Okay, now this is the job, uh, the important bit here. This, uh, the default setting of this is enter. I'm going to change that to forward. Okay. So that's grand. I'm going to have a quick look at the uh, options at the side. I'm not really going to do that much with them in this presentation, but I'll just have a quick just talk about them. Uh, let's have confidence intervals, actually. Yes, we'll have 95% confidence intervals for the uh, regression coefficient, uh, regression uh, coefficients. Uh, we put in some descriptive statistics. Multicollinearity diagnostics. That would actually be uh, quite useful in multiple linear regression, but right now, not the emphasis of the presentation. So uh, we leave that for another presentation. Continue. And we're going to plots. Let's have a look at those. These are residual plots there. Okay. And we leave that for another time. Uh, but again, there's quite a lot of important stuff there um, uh, just to s assess how well the model, uh, 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 how well the assumptions that required, that are required from uh, multiple linear regression, how well they are uh, obeyed. Uh, save, again, there's quite a lot of stuff here, predicted values and so on, and the uh, residuals, influence statistics, a lot of uh, really good um, analyses there available to us. I'm just going to center that up. But again, again, not part of the um, presentation today. Anyway, let's go for it. Click OK. I'll just give that a second to uh, move up. I'm going to uh, make that a bit easier to read. There we go. So, first off, we have the eight, uh, some descriptives, the mean, standard deviation, and number of valid observations for each of the variables. The correlations are always quite useful, but right now not the main part of uh, the presentation. What we have here is very important matter, the variables that do get selected for the model. So in the first instance we have uh, x8, variable 8, gets inputted. In the second phase, the v variable x4 also gets inputted, so we have x8 and x4 here. The next variable that get inputted is x3 and then x2. So we actually end up with four variables uh, selected to explain uh, uh, y, the, and, uh, the response y. So that is, uh, those, these are the variables that do get selected by this procedure. Here we have a look at the improvement in the model fit by adding each successive um, variable. So in model 1, which is constant in x8, we have an adjusted r squared of 0 0.579. By adding x4 to the model, what the r squared, which is a measure of goodness of fit, uh, we see an improvement. It climbs to 0 0.713, and so on, on the way uh, till we have a final adjusted r squared value of 0 0.805. So this shows the improvement uh, brought about by adding uh, uh, the additional independent variables. 
that is a, a an expression of the final model selected by this um, implement uh, by this uh, forward selection. A very important matter here is the ANOVA. Uh, for the sake of brevity, I'm going to sort of um, discuss that another time. But again, it's uh, it's actually quite a lot of useful information. Um, it would uh, be worth a it would be worth a um, presentation in its own right. Lastly, what we're going to look at is the coefficients. So this is the important matter here. What is the model, the final the fitted model, the final regression line? decided upon by this procedure and we, what we do is we go to look at the unstandardized coefficients and in particular we look at the fourth model fitted so this is the last model here 0.52 plus 1.22x uh, uh, was that x8 plus 0.7278 and so on so actually I have that formula uh, written down here let's go back to the um, the the these slides. So the of the independent variables selected in order x8 got selected, x4 got selected, x3 got selected and then x2 got selected and we've ended up with a regression equation based on the, um, the segment of output I've just indicated of this regression equation here so the estimated value of y can be based upon this equation here for the var various values of x2, x3, x4, x5, uh, x8 so I'll just I'll, I'll just one more time uh, look at where this comes from. Again, these values here. I put them in the order of uh, variable name x2, x3, x4, x8. I put them in backwards uh, here. Okay, that ends our presentation. Thank you very much.